the Colorado Republican Party has asked the U.S. Supreme Court to step in after the state's top court disqualified former President Donald Trump from appearing on Colorado's Republican primary ballot. That's according to an attorney for the group on Wednesday. The move comes after the Colorado Supreme Court on December 19th disqualified Trump because of his role in the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol by his supporters. The decision was based on a U.S. constitutional provision prohibiting anyone who engaged in insurrection or rebellion from holding public office. This is saying your name can't even appear on the ballot. First time it's ever happened in American history. Derek Muller is a professor of law at Notre Dame Law School. The 14th Amendment has a number of components that were enacted um, to provide things like equal protection and due process. But Section 3 was enacted to prevent those who had previously taken an oath to support the Constitution and then turned around and engaged in rebellion or insurrection against the United States and bar them from holding future office, federal or state office, under the United States. Trump, the frontrunner for the Republican 2024 presidential nomination, is expected to file his own appeal. The state's high court had put its decision on hold until January 4th, stating that Trump would remain on the ballot if he appealed. The 4-3 Colorado Supreme Court ruling reversed a lower court judge's conclusion that Trump engaged in insurrection by inciting his supporters to violence. But as president, he was not an officer of the United States who could be disqualified under the 14th Amendment. Courts have rejected several lawsuits seeking to keep Trump off the primary ballot in other states. Minnesota's top court rebuffed an effort to disqualify Trump from the Republican primary in that state, but did not rule on his overall eligibility to serve as president.